Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up, where we wake up. I'm waking up. <laughs> we'll be right back. You can put that one in there all you want. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Welcome to Wake Up, where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Holly. And Pastor Jason and Kelly, they're in Hot Coffee, Mississippi on vacation. It's pretty exciting. We got a scripture for your day. We're going to pray over That's your day. That's not where they're at, but they're having a great time and we're so excited Look for up. them. There is a Hot Coffee, Everybody, Mississippi. <laughs> that actually sounds really fun. I know you'd love to visit there. I would there. love to be there. <laughs> Uh, we're going to start off. What's our, what's our scripture for the day? Just uh, tell us where to be. Um, well, I'm, a, I'm going off of you and your sermon, which was amazing. It's like if, if you haven't seen it, if you didn't see it, you have to see this series. Um, but I would like to start at Hebrews 10, and I'm going to read from verse uh, 22. At 22. All right, we got Comet Quinn's Day first. Yay. And uh, Stephen Dawson says, I don't know why I always think this is coming, but every time Jason says, hi, I'm Pastor Jason, I expect to say, uh, I am not. And uh, here's the thing. He's not here. So next week, that's what we're doing. Okay. I'm going to do it when he's here. I'm going to do that one. Okay. Uh, Chestire Top Cat said, good reminder. Thanks. Also, where is Comet Wednesday? Is that a thing of the past? Yeah, we don't do Comet Wednesday anymore. So uh, we got rid of that. I thought we just did it. What do you mean? All right. Next comment. Uh, my mother loved all the yuck candy, circus penis, Chico stick. I love this. Honey, yeah. The black and orange wrapped peanut butter candy, jelly beans. What was the candy you loved growing up? What was the candy? I okay. Are you are you looking for me to give you a specific or? Yeah. What was your favorite? What was your go to? M and M's. We hear stories of you and M and M's. Uh, uh, no. It oh, was no, her. It was Hershey. Hershey it, no, it was actually just Hershey's chips, like baking <laughs> Hershey's chocolate chips. <laughs> just the chips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would I, just eat the chocolate. I would just take a handful. It was bad. I would eat just the chocolate chips. I like nerds. And you know that. I still like nerds, blizzards. Yeah, I would have to say mine was licorice, red vines. Oh, and bottle caps. Nope, mine was red vines. I love bottle caps. It'll always be red vines. All right, so we're talking today about unmasking. But the key to living a, a life that's unmasked is confidence. We talked about this this Sunday is don't cast away your confidence because it has a great reward. And when I'm confident in not what I can do, but what God can do through me, that's a difference. As soon as you get saved, God becomes strong where you're weak. So my confidence isn't what I can do today. It's what God's going to do through me. Confidence means that I have the abilities that I need through Christ Jesus to have success. Yeah. Well, what I liked is when I was sitting under your teaching, I was going through, I was actually following the scripture in a different translation than you, the Passion Translation. And I love looking at different translations of, of different passages in scriptures because it says the same thing with different words. And I think that semantics plays a big role in each of our lives of what um, maybe resonates with the way we hear uh, more than some, more than someone else. And so, as I was reading it, I thought it was really, really awesome to that this scripture also called confidence being convinced of, walking convinced of. And for me, that took on a totally that gave that a different. It gave it for me a strong picture of confidence. Mm. But I went up a couple scriptures because we were a little bit further down in Hebrews ten, and I came and and this is what I came upon in in verse twenty two. We came we come closer to God and approach Him with an open heart, fully convinced by faith that nothing will keep us at a distance from Him. And I was thinking that when you're fully convinced, you walk confident. When you're fully convinced that the Creator loves you, when you're fully convinced that the Creator is on your side, when you're fully convinced that the Creator equipped you with everything you need, when you're fully convinced that um, the Creator loves you, you walk confident through any of the storms that life might hand you. You walk confident with people and in relationships. You and and for me, that just took on a different picture. The word convinced. Give when you're convinced, you, you can walk confident. Are think, you are you convinced that today is a great day? Well, think about a time when somebody was trying to convince you and win you over, and maybe you were convinced of something else and there was no swaying you. And the same is true of us. When we're convinced that God loves us, when we're convinced that He has created us for such a time as this, we walk out our day confident. We walk out our 
our job. We walk out our dreams our confident. Purpose, our destiny. Yes, we walk out parenting confident, fully convinced that God is on our side. So that made that changed everything for me. And and I saw that removal of the mask when you're fully convinced that you're not an addict, but you're a survivor or you're victorious. When you're uh, fully convinced that you're not depressed, you're full of joy and happiness. You are fully convinced that you... Um, that God's healing your body. Yes, yes. That you are, that your body is healthy and whole and not sick. I just, I just... Um, no, that, that really is good is... is learning to walk convinced. And to be convinced, it means that I believe this, right? right? I'm convinced that what God said true over my life is true. So like David, who was convinced he was going to be king, when he showed up and there was Goliath there, he wasn't full of fear that he's going to die. He's like, well, how could I die? I'm going to be king. Right. He was convinced that God was going to use him to save Israel. So when a problem shows up in your life and you are convinced that God's word is true, you're like, okay, I get it. Life's going to have its problems, but I am convinced that God won't just get me through this, right? But I'll thrive through this, that we're going to get to the other side and there's going to be a big blessing in this. I know that I'm walking through something, but I'm convinced that God's going to get me through it. Can I add to that? Yeah. So I love when you said when you're fully convinced that this is God's word. When you're fully convinced that this is the divine inspired word of God, you will open it up and you will take everything it says and you will see that being being applied to your life. When you're fully convinced that this is God's word and it's for you, all of the stuff within its pages are now something that you will live by. I love that. And because... Because you're convinced of it, then your mind continues to remind you of what the Word says. So you hear something, and I talked about that this week about the voices. So you got to be convinced that God's voice is the right voice. So when I hear that I'm not smart, no, I'm convinced that God has given me the mind of Christ. When I hear that I can't do that, I go, I'm convinced that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. When I hear the doctor's report, I'm convinced that whose report will I believe? I believe God's report, that He is healing my body, that His miracle working is going through my entire body. Amen. Here's a great thing. What are you convinced about? Write some things down in the comments, some things that uh, maybe some things that we didn't talk about that. You know what? This is what I'm convinced God's word is saying over my life. You want to pray over their day? I would love that. So, Father God, we thank you. And we praise you for this amazing word today. I thank you and I praise you that you are in charge of our lives. I thank you and I praise you that as we become convinced that you are real, that you have us on your heart, that you are, have equipped us for every good and perfect thing, that we walk bolder and more confident throughout our life and everything it hands us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. Uh, click around to the screen somewhere. Watch the clip from this weekend. And uh, it's important that we learn how to live a life of confidence. Yep. Don't forget about the Genesis Conference coming yep. up. And uh, don't forget to be in God's house this weekend. Remember, church is something that we experience. Amen? Like well, and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Like and subscribe. Share, share, share. And thank you so much for watching. For and bologna tuning sandwich. In and for listening in. No. Well, okay. Bologna sandwich. <laughs> okay. Say it. Why? Bologna sandwich. Why? Is there a joke about bologna sandwich? <laughs> Say bologna sandwich. I said it. You didn't say it really, though. I did. Yeah, I tell, said, is you there to tell them the bologna sandwich. Okay, bologna sandwich. <laughs> Down in the comments, <laughs> let Holly know what bologna sandwich means. Great. We'll see you tomorrow.